Welcome to our step-by-step -step instructional video to help install your newly purchased heritage shed from Steel Chief. If this is not the style of shed you have purchased, please refer back to the website to find the appropriate instructional video for your shed. Before beginning, check to see if you have all the parts. These include two gable sides, one front, one back, four jointed roof panels with a channel on one side of each of them, or two full length roof panels with channels on both sides, your screw pack, and if ordered, two finials. First step is to ensure the area in which you want to place your shed is level. Begin by raising the gable panel into position. Place the gable on the ground, in this case it is on our wooden floor option. Raise the back panel, ensuring the base mart rail is on the bottom. Steel Chief has built your shed with base mart technology. Instead of the U-shaped rail, the base mart is a strong L-shaped structural piece, which will not collect any unsightly debris. This eliminates any chance of premature corrosion. Base mart has more positive fixings to the shed walls, which increases its wind loading to N4 the lightest rated small shed in the market. Place the base mart into the gable's base mart cutout. Fit the top channel cutouts together as well. Overlap the corner ribs of the panels and screw into the bottom first, and then drill the top. Your helper can spring the wall outwards towards you to keep the overlap straight when you screw into the middle. Now add the last two screws evenly spaced between the middle and outer screws totaling to five screws along the corner of the shed. Be careful not to drive too hard as the screws may strip the hole. Repeat this process for all four corners, ensuring the base mart railings are placed in the gable panel's base mart cutouts. If your shed is not on a wooden floor, make sure the sides are square by ensuring the diagonal measurements are equal. Make appropriate changes if necessary. Once you have all your walls connected and squared off, it is now time to install the roof. Fit the ridge beam to one of the roofs, pushing them together until the side channel of the roof is placed between the cap and beam of the ridge. It is important that the ridge beam overhang should be equal at both ends. When you are sure the roof is fully inserted into the gap between the cap and beam, screw at either end and then one screw per sheet. Carefully place the roof on top of the shed, making sure the beam sits on top of the gable tips. Align the middle of the ridge with the top of the gables. Once in place, drill through the roof into the upper channels of the gable panels. Add 10mm to your measurements of the overhang at each end to ensure screws accurately go through the panels below. Use three screws and then repeat for either end of the roof panel. Install the second roof panel. Slide it in between the cap and beam, ensuring it is fully in position. Hold it in place and screw into the underside of the ridge beam, adjacent to the screws for the first roof panel. Once it is held in position, repeat the process of drilling through the roof into the gables underneath. Finally drill into the corners of the ridge cap from above, into the channels of the roof panels. Install the finial plates by placing them over the upper corner of the roof panels. Use two screws per roof panel, totaling to four screws, drilling them through the finial and into the channel of the roof panel. To fasten down the roof, 
Measure the distance from the edge of the roof to the face of the wall. Add 10 millimeters to ensure screws are positioned in the center of the wall below. Drill next to the rib, having two screws per sheet. Continue to check that the roof overhang is consistent for each screw you drill in. Follow the same process for the other roof panel. If you have ordered our optional window, remove the plastic film from it and install it in the provided hole. Ensure it fits comfortably and then insert one screw per corner, four in total. Carefully install the glass pieces and lock them in place by firmly pushing the metal hooks over them. Before anchoring your shed, check the door is closing properly. All sites are not perfectly level, so shimmying may be necessary to square the door opening. If the door doesn't close properly, place a screwdriver under the bottom of the shed at the hinge and gently lift the shed. If this improves the door opening, then place a thin shim or shims under the wall. If it makes the opening worse, move the screwdriver to under the pad bolt side and repeat. Once the shims are in place and your shed is level, you are ready to anchor the shed to the ground. If anchoring your shed to concrete, place a bracket towards a corner, flush with the wall and adjacent to a rib. Using a hammer drill and masonry bit, drill through the bracket into the concrete. Hammer a sleeve anchor into the hole and tighten. Screw through the back of the bracket into the base mart of the wall. Use two brackets per wall and gable panel. For panels over three meters, use three brackets for each panel. In wind protected areas, anchoring may be achieved using star pickets, 450 millimeters or 600 millimeter long. If your shed is on the ground, align star pickets flush against the walls and hammer them into the ground until they are firm and a hole is aligned with the base mart. Usually the picket is fully driven into the ground, showing only the last hole in the post. This ensures maximum grip. Screw into the hole and through the base mark. Once you have completed all these steps, you are finished installing your new shed from Steel Chief. Steel Chief insists on only premium quality materials and paints to ensure your shed will last for many years in Australia's harsh climate. Proudly locally built in Ballarat to Australian standards.